Welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you the global version the original, brand new top, selling GAN charger product on Amazon, and AliExpress with discount price. While a love for troubleshooting runs strong in my family, you can instead trace my hesitance to my earliest experiences with laptops. Back in the dark ages, aka the early 2000s, and for many years after third-party chargers could be hit or miss and a laptop was not a cheap investment. The first notebook I ever bought, a Dell Latitude X200, cost $1,400 used. I sure as heck was not chancing its life expectancy on an aftermarket charger. For anyone not yet acquainted with GAN chargers, unlikely. Given how long I held out, they're similar to smartphone chargers, but push much more juice. Where a typical phone charger tops out around 25 to 30 W these days, a GAN charger can power a 100 W laptop, and it'll do so with a much smaller footprint than most original OEM laptop chargers for thin and light laptops, which usually take a 45 W or 65 W charger. You can usually pick up the GAN equivalent at affordable prices. Example: These wildly popular itty bitty anchor models are just $40 for the 45W model and $55 for the 65W model. Pair one with a USB-C cable rated for high wattage power delivery, and you have a hugely portable charger that takes less space than today's laptop chargers. I could have picked one up well before emerging from pandemic seclusion a little before COVID hit. GAN chargers were taking off in popularity. But at the time, laptops were only just making the transition to USB-C charging. My laptop still went with a barrel charger, though it did include a Thunderbolt 3 port, capable of USB-C charging. I haven't literally tossed out my laptop's barrel charger, but these days, it sits parked at my desk, which I occasionally return to with the laptop. For the most part, the GAN charger and I are best buds. You'll often find us together when I'm lounging on my sofa, perched on my bed, out at a friend's house, or traveling to a farther flung destination. I actually even opted for a slightly larger model, since I wanted extra USB ports. It lets me also charge my phone, tablet and or e-reader off the same wall wart, while still shaving weight from my backpack and packing more compactly. I sometimes travel internationally on budget airlines. Every ounce heck, every gram counts in my bag, as does every square inch of space. Long story short, I feel stupid having waited this long to make a quality of life improvement. Everyone else who got on board this train before me is welcome to sit back smugly. That's fine. I'm just going to go back to my quest to find a suitable replacement for my incredibly lightweight. But a gingate inch Windows tablet every so often. A new technology comes along that offers a broad range of benefits over what we already have. Just as lithium-ion batteries have made nickel cadmium cells boring an old hat, gallium nitride semiconductors are making silicon parts look unimpressive by comparison. Brian Dipert looked at what this means in a practical sense, by tearing down a GAN phone. Charger.The charger in question is a 30-watt USB-C charger produced by Volt. It cost Brian just $10, as prices of GAN hardware have come down significantly, as economies of scale have kicked in. The charger measures just 1.2 times 1.3 times 1.2 inches, and weighs only 1.5 ounces. That compact size is thanks to GAN semiconductors, which are able to run cooler at higher power levels than their silicon forebearers. Cracking into the charger required levering open the case. The back panel came off with some work, revealing the mains terminals, which deliver AC power to the PCB inside via the case holding them in contact. Interestingly, the entire circuit inside is filled with an adhesive thermal goop, which helps pass heat from the hottest components to the charger's case. Brian is able to guide us through the circuit, and he identified many of the major components. However, some of the markings on chips were beyond his research skills, and he asks any knowing readers to contribute their own information disclaimers. These choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when this will be back in stock. You need to go Top GAN Charger 2023 review link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.